Casey Conley with Two Tankards Woodworking here. Uh, we just got the new 2021 M2 Maker Made uh, CNC in. Uh, today, what I want to try to do is uh, a complete unboxing of what of the unit, and we're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to take a look at the components and the kit parts that's inside of it. We're going to take a look at the new Z-axis tower design that uh, has been widely shown on the internet there. And then we're also gonna take a look at the new sled design with the dust collection components in it. And we wanna kinda of take all of that and I wanna compare it to what I call the classic M2 over here, the one that I personally run in the shop now. And we're gonna see what those differences are. So stay tuned. All right, so opening up the box here. Everything's looking good. Got the standard Maker Made stickers, uh, documentation here, the classic blue disc, uh, the classic M2 came with this. It kind of mimics the, uh, the sled. Inside of here, you got the Z axis compartment, good packaging. Lots of good packing. It looks like they went above and beyond and making sure that it, uh, it was stable. Got motors, some components here. All your brackets are separated, so they're not bumping into your motors. Your steel brackets, that's good. All your cables, you got additional tools. Your plugs, your electronics. Everything is in this box over here, that's good. That's all separated, nice compartment down here. And then here is the uh, Z-axis assembly. And it looks like down here on the bottom, underneath of all this is the new sled. So I'm going to go ahead and slide this off to the side and we will start pulling these components out one by one. We'll set the instructions off to the side here. Alright, so first things first, let's take a look at these uh, motors. That was a big deal. And the other one, they were just in boxes, they weren't protected very well. And this one here, uh, I've seen on uh, the website that they had really updated this. It looks good, it's got nice cushion, nice foam, uh, good packaging, everything's tight. Keeps your motor safe while it's shipping. Keeps your plugs in alignment, Every, you know, nothing's gonna get damaged during shipping. I like that, that's, that's better. It gives you a good feeling knowing that that's there. So there's that. Uh, let's take a look at your plugs. Here's the uh, bearings for your ring rotational. The uh, pin, you got this with the classic unit as well. Uh, you have your Maker Made USB, your jump drive here. Got that in the classic unit. For your hardware, your main hardware, looks like you got your brackets, all of your brackets. Comes with four of them this time. Uh, that's exactly how many came with the last one. You get two on your top beam and two on your wasteboard. You got the three stand-up brackets that hold up your ring. You got your, your two mounts that you put your bearings into uh, to roll on the rings. You got two motor mounts here that go up on the top on your uh, cross beam. And then in here, this box looks like it's taking some damage pretty good. Uh, that's your Maker Made power supply. Looks good. I don't see any damage to it, but the box did look like it, uh, it's been sitting in a warehouse and pretty beat up. But it looks good. Set that off to the side. Next, we're going to take a look at uh, the electronic components right here. <laughs> I like that. It says brains. That's going to be the digital board for the, the Maker Made unit. Box is in good condition. Uh, here they got a, a new cover for it. I like that. New Maker Made cover. Looks good. My other one on the uh, classic unit over here. It's just a white box. It, it basically has a lot of the same designs. I noticed they have better cutouts on this. You can access the laser ports and everything better for future use. We'll set that off to the side. You got your standard cables, your USB cable that goes to your computer. Right here's your Z-axis cables and your XY cables, all bundled up nice and tight. Everything looks good, no damage. A 
ton of a ton of components. Uh, you know, this is one thing that I I wasn't a big fan of in in the classic unit either. But uh, you got everything. It's lettered bag A, B, C, D, E, and you kind of follow the instructions and open up the bags as you go. And uh, one of the things we had with the classic unit was uh, we were missing components out of these bags. So uh, that'll be interesting if all the components are in this one and I'm able to assemble it the first time without having to uh, go back and get components or run out and buy my own. Uh, we have the two chains here. These are your standard chains. Uh, we'll talk about these two. I would like to just see the standard 15 foot chains come with these. Helps us out with the board, the, the design, and a lot of people on our Facebook group, uh, 4,000 users on there. A lot of people want to, you know, cut the four full four by eight sheet, and it's kind of hard to do that with accuracy in the bottom corners without 15 foot chains. And I think those just need to be standard. We shouldn't have the short chains anymore. Uh, a little bit more in the box here. Your ring, we have that. Uh, your good starter kit, the starter kit has three one eighth inch bits with a, an adapter to go into a quarter inch router, which is pretty standard. The DeWalt 611 takes that up to a quarter, so you put that in and then you put those any of those bits into the adapter and it'll fit into your router, you'll be ready to go. Your Z-axis tower here. We'll open this up real quick and get it laid out there. Again, packaged pretty well. Got some good foam in here. Box in the center of it for nuts and bolts. And then here is the Z-axis itself. Box looks like it's in good condition. It survived well. There's the Z-axis and the assembled components underneath of it. And last but not least, in the box, looks like we have the new, the new sled. So here is the new sled. Uh, it already has the rails attached to it. I kind of like that. Uh, you don't have to worry about doing those, getting those in there and getting it on and all of that. Looks like the uh, new sled, it'll, the new Z-axis, this, looks like it just bolts directly to these so you're good and tight and then you can flip it over and you'll loosen up these screws probably just to center it up, slide the whole thing back and forth to get your router, your bit and everything right in the center. So, uh, looks good. I'm uh, interested to see how this new dust collection goes in, of course. Looks like it's a wider slot this time, and uh, maybe it'll be more effective. All right, let's uh, get to looking at the parts and stay tuned for the component review. Mm -hmm. 